following tutorial videos, I am going to talk about Microsoft Access 2010. Microsoft Access is designed for creating and accessing rational databases. A rational database is a very flexible because it can store data for several different but related categories. To store access, you need to go to the start Windows Start button, point to all programs, click Microsoft Office, then click Microsoft Access 2010. Then you will open the new window. Unlike other Microsoft Office applications, Access does not automatically display an empty workspace when you start the program. When you start Access, the File tab appears. You can use this tab to connect to Microsoft Office Online, search for an existing file, create a new database, or open an existing database. When working with Access, you typically will not create a new database each time you use the program. Instead, you will open an existing database in order to add or edit the data it contains. Now, let's learn how to create a new database. First, to create a database, you need to click the blank database button. Then, you need to change the file name. Then, you need to decide where to save your database. Click it. I am going to save the database file to the desktop. Click OK. So you will see the path changed. Now, you can click the Create button to create a new database. Before you can enter data in database, you must specify the structure of the tables, records, and the fields in your database. A table contains records. Each record consists of one or more fields. So one colon means one field. To define a field or a table, you begin by selecting a, a data type such as text, number, currency, date and time, yes or no. You can select a name for the field. I will show you how. In this example, I'm going to use text data type for the class title. Text data type is a specific type for the fields that contains words and the symbols of up to 2, 2, and 55 characters in length. Let's click this one. And then you can key in the field name. So I key in class title. Now, I would like to add another field. So click the arrow. Let's, this time, let's choose number data type. And I'm going to key in credit. Number data type is for fields that contains numerical data. Now, let's create another field. Click more arrow. This time, let's choose date and time. And uh, let's key in start date. Do the same thing for the end date. Click date and time. So date and time data type is for date and the time. Let's create the last type. We call yes or no data type. So click it. Choose yes or no. And I'm going to key in online course. The yes, no data type can be useful for fields designed to hold simple yes or no or true and false data. We can also modify 
the field title. Let's learn how to do that. All you have to do is double click the field title. So let's change this to class code. Enter. Then you have to save your table. So go to the save icon and uh, save as the table name. So let's change to class database. So click OK. So you will see a table tab is changed to class database. And the tables over here, you will see the change on the left panel. Now let's learn how to enter and edit data in a table. Easy. Go to the class title. We start from the second field because the class code will generate a series of number for you automatically. So let's start from here and enter one by one. For example, education 2250. How many credits? Three. Start date. Just click the calendar icon. Choose one date. End date to click. Let's choose December 24th. It's not an online course, so I'm not going to check the box. And let's go to here and I create another course information. You can use the tab key to jump between field. Okay. Now I have created seven records. So each row contains a record. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven courses information. How to move a field? Not so difficult. You can click on one field and hold the left key on your mouse and drag it to the front. So you can remove your field easily and modify it. So I'm going to move back. Now let's save the table. So click save or you can click Ctrl S.